A few weeks ago, I participated in International Research Conference. It was my first time presenting an oral poster at this such an event. And I have to admit, I almost passed out. However, it turned out to be a fantastic experience. One of the highlights of attending this conference is the opportunity to interact with researchers from around the planet who come from diverse backgrounds. During the conference, I had the chance to speak with someone of them and ask for advice on how to find research positions in the U.S. They kindly shared some valuable tips, which I'm so excited to pass along to you. Universities websites. Visit the websites of universities and research institutions in the U.S. They typically have dedicated job career pages where you can find open positions for researchers. Keep an eye open the career section of universities that align with your research interests. Something that um, a bunch of researchers told me that big university with big names like Mayo Clinic and this type of universities has a bunch of opportunities and many applicants are too afraid to apply and you can surprise that it's not that it's not like that is scary experience and they are more than welcome to see your application and see what you can offer to that institution. So they said, don't be afraid and apply to big institutions too, because they offer a bunch of opportunities. Networking. Networking plays a crucial role in finding research positions. Attend conference, seminars, webinar, and academic events in your field to connect with researchers and professors. Join professional organizations and participate in online communities related to your area of expertise. Networking can often lead to valuable connections and job opportunities. For example, I participated in that conference that I told you previously, and that gave me the opportunity to talk with a bunch of people. And this video, this video is an inspiration of that experience. So. I was part of a conference activity, and that helped me out a lot. So yeah, networking is something really key here. Also, I made a video about networking the last week. I'm going to leave you the link in the description box below so you can check it out. Utilize online platforms. Explore popular online jobs and academic platforms. There are a bunch of academics, platforms, also social media can help you out uh, through this journey, like Mac Twitter, uh, Instagram, and more. Facebook groups can help you out too. And online service, aka internet, Googling stuff, keywords that can help you out to find what you're looking for can be really helpful. Academic journals and publications. Keep an eye on academic journals and publications in your field. Sometimes researchers advertise research positions or collaboration in their published articles. Collaborate with professors. Reach out to professors or researchers in your field of interest and express your desire to collaborate or work as a research assistant. Professors often have ongoing research projects and may have openings for research positions. Send a professional email or message showcasing your skills, experience. Project ING. Project ING has a research team or society. You can get in touch with them and acquire about any available opportunities. They have a network related to research and a lot of stuff about ING, INGs. So you can go to their website and check it out if they have any type of opportunity, research internships and programs. Explore research internships and programs offered by universities, research institutions, and government agencies. These programs often provide valuable research experience and networking opportunities, and so may lead to full-time research positions. I made a video also about this topic. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below, so check it out. 
I asked to some of them when is the best time for applying for this type of opportunities or reaching out. And they told me right after the match, there are a bunch of applicants that got into medical residence. So these jobs are available and the different institutions are reaching out for more up for new applicants so this is the best time for reaching out like this type of period however there are some institutions that they're always looking for um, new applicants and more so based on their experience they highlight after the match season they are they are really picks of jobs and more opportunities Remember to tailor your application materials, such as your CV and cover letter, to highlight your relevant research experience, skills, skills, and more stuff that you can see there are really important in your application.